Are new construction homes in Bentonville, Arkansas driving days on market? I believe they are. But before we get into that, let's talk about the numbers as we have in months past. But a quick announcement for you. I'm going to be doing this on a quarterly basis to provide the analytics. Of course, if you're watching this and want them monthly, happy to provide them offline. But as far as going forward with video, these are going to be a quarterly update. So 79 new homes came to market in January 2023 for Bentonville with an average list price $581,196. And again, always for those of you that like price per square foot, that's $253 square foot. There are currently 309 active properties on the market in Bentonville, Arkansas with an average list price of $659,488. I do not have this memorized. I have a whole cheat sheet right behind the camera here. Funny enough though, something I've found interesting is over 10% of those listings are actually in the seven figures, one of which just got lowered from 11.6 down to 11.5 uh, million dollars that is. Um, but 10% of the homes that are active on the MLS for Bentonville are in the seven figures. So that is attributing to a higher list price. That's attributing to maybe a little bit longer days on market. A lot of the sweet spot in Bentonville is your 400 to 600,000 range. So when you start going above the million dollar mark, those homes tend to sit on the market just a little bit longer. Average days on market for all of those active listed homes right now is 93 days on market. Now again, earlier we had talked about new construction and what that does for days on market. A lot of the builders in our area are waiting until a certain point. Many builders across the country do the same thing. A lot of our builders wait until a certain point in the construction process before they list them on the MLS. What I'm thinking I'm seeing, and somebody tell me if I'm wrong, but what I'm seeing is because of low inventory, builders might be putting them on a little bit earlier in the construction process. So again, giving a little bit longer days on market. Where we're sitting right now is 93 days on market. Perfect opportunity for me to stop and pause right here, talk about days on market. So a couple things that affect that days on market that I want to make sure I discuss is when we're looking at active homes on the market, that's 93 days of being marketed on the MLS. When we're looking at sold homes, the final sales average days on market, which was 84 in the month of January of those that had sold, that's talking about on the market to actually closed. So one thing that a lot of people don't understand is, oh, 83 days is spent 83 days on the market. Yes and no. What it didn't do is between from being listed to under contract is not 83 days. I'm seeing that be closer to 12 to 14 days. We can dive into that metric another time. But please understand that under sold homes, 83 days on market does not mean the home took 83 days to go under contract whole different metric. All right, back into the numbers. 65 homes sold in January of 2023 for an average sale price of $451,166 or again $218 a square foot. So one thing we've been tracking in months past is that list to sell ratio. We've been discussing how here it is, end of the year, beginning of the year, we're going to start to see a little decline in the amount of homes that are sold in the amount of list to sell ratio. So if we look back from previous months, we were at 99.4, 99.3, 99.2 for October, November, December last year. January 2023, list to sale ratio was right at 97%. So that's a 2% dip from what we saw in December. Interestingly enough, figured it was going to happen, there's a few higher priced homes on the market. There's a few people that are thinking, hey, interest rates are high, let me do a rate buy down, or we can discuss that offline as well. But some different opportunities for buyers to purchase homes, when it's a slower time of the year, we can tend to see some concessions, we can tend to see a price reduction in helping that home move as far as inventory moving off the market. If you've been watching my channel for the last few months, you know that I also like to track what the average home sold for the previous year to what it sold this year. So in the previous few months, we saw in October a 28% difference from 2022 to 2021. Now we're in 23 and we're looking at 22 numbers. But as far as the last three months, we're seeing a trend line down. Again, talking about the difference in list to sale, the difference in 
year over year sales prices. So October was 28%, November 2022 was 14, December was 11, and January, we're here at 5% as far as January last year to January this year, the home sales were only 5% higher. My friends, that's attributed to the time of year, interest rates, inflation, which we're getting ready to talk about interest rates here in a second. But we're seeing where those are starting to come together and I believe are getting ready to start spreading back apart maybe as early as here as February or March. In January 2022, we saw 90 homes sell, which I discussed earlier, we only saw 65 homes sell in January of this year. That's down 27%. National average, what I've heard, I was just at a real estate conference this last week, is there's 21% year over year, the listings are down 21%. Now, of course, I just talked about sales down 27%, but listings are also down nationally, 21% year over year nationally. Something while we're on the topic of national and on a broader scale is interest rates. Now, I'm not a lender, don't ever plan to be one, so I need to put that out there for you. But the statistic that I read this last week that was on a chart for us is that interest rates saw a peak where they're already starting to see them coming down. They started peaking in October, November last year, about a point higher than where they are now. Of course, I'm talking about Freddie Mac 30 year fixed interest rate. Uh, that's what that number is in regards to. Okay, Anthony, what, what does that all mean, right? So translate that for us, put it in layman's terms for us to understand. What that means is with interest rates coming down with low inventory still happening, we're going to see the return of multiple offers. We're going to see the return of lower days on market. We're going to see the return of a lot of buyers who said, you know what, interest rates are nuts. Who said the, the multiple offers is crazy. I don't wanna be a part of that market. It's a very accelerated market and we're getting ready, in my opinion, to go back into that accelerated happening market. So return of buyers, low inventory, multiple offers, that's what we can expect to see. So if you're sitting there watching this thinking, hey, you know what, I'm going to wait until interest rates go lower. Again, not a lender, can't predict the future. My crystal ball is not even up on the shelf. That's a baseball, not a crystal ball. I can't predict the future, but what I can tell you is that from doing this for nearly a decade, I know for a fact that when it comes to the spring market, things get more competitive for you as a buyer. Now, for you as a seller, if you're thinking about selling your home and want to have that conversation, let's discuss that as well and what your strategy is, because it's different if you're looking to just sell or if you're looking to sell and buy at the same time, there's a different strategy there as well. If you're watching this and would like to have a further conversation with me, by all means, my information is below, or you can start the conversation on my website, anthonymosleyrealestate.com, M-O-S-L-E-Y, that's how you spell the last name. Uh, but we can start the conversation there, no obligation conversation to really find out where it is you are in your home buy or sell journey. I'd love to have that talk with you. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.